Okay, part E. This is our last one. Uh, and it looks a lot like what we did for the strong base, strong acid titration, the very last part of it. So we know we've already reached the equivalence point, so any amount of base that we add now um, beyond that is, is going to be just excess strong base. So let's start, as we usually do, we calculate our moles of our acid. We already know what the moles of the acid are. They haven't changed throughout the whole problem. It's 0 0.010 moles. And then our moles of our base, that's going to change because we just added, uh, we started off with a 0.5 molar. And we added 21 mils, so 0 0.0210 liters. Alright, so we're going to work all that out. We're going to end up with 0 0.0105. So you can see we have more moles of base than we do of the acid. Again, what's going on in this reaction? We have our CH3 or acetic acid, and we're reacting with our sodium hydroxide. We're going to get some sodium acetate and a little bit of water. And if we started off here at 0.01 moles here and 0.0105 moles of the sodium hydroxide. Now we're going to subtract the weak acid amount. All right, because that's what we have less of. If you do this and you end up with a negative number, subtract the other thing. All right, so we have excess moles of sodium hydroxide. We're, we don't have any of this to start off. We will make some. Uh, for sure, we'll, we'll make 0.01 moles of this. But what's really important here is the moles of the strong base. Because this is strong, this is going to be our major source of hydroxide ions. We're going to get a little bit from this weak base, but it's nothing significant. Um, this is really the source of all of our hydroxide ions. So the first thing we did, what did we do? Let's go back to break it down into steps. We've got moles of acid, moles of base. We subtracted the acid from the base, so that we found our excess moles of, of base. Right, So we have excess moles of base here. Um, we need to find the molar concentration. So the molar concentration of our sodium hydroxide, which is going to be our hydroxide ions, it's going to be the moles of, hydro of the sodium hydroxide, um, 0 0.0005 moles, over the total volume. So how do we find our total volume? We add up the moles of the acid and the base, right? So we had 20 moles of acid, and I just added 21 moles of base, so we have 41 moles total. So that's 0 0.0410 liters. Alright, so when we work that out, we get the concentration of our hydroxide ions, because it's sodium hydroxide, we got 0 0.012, 0 0.012 molar. Now we can find a pOH, pOH is just negative log of the 0 0.012, pOH ends up being 1.92, and then we get the pH out of that, we're just going to do 14 minus 1.92 is 12.08. Alright, so now it's really, really basic. Now, if you accidentally kind of stopped here and said, oh yeah, okay, 1.92, I did the negative log of something, I must have finished, um, you should recognize that that's an acidic pH, and that wouldn't make any sense, because it's actually pH. So, the very last step, is there anything else you to do in this problem, but I'm probably going to ask you to do it on a test or a quiz, is to plot the titration curve. So you have pH uh, versus volume of base, volume of your NaOH that you're adding. So when you added zero moles, before you added any um, any base, the pH here was like 2.52, right? That was at zero moles. And then we added eight moles and it went up to you know, 4.57, so that's at like eight moles. And then at 10 moles, it went up to 4.74. That's where the pH equal to pKa. Good job here, so it goes up just a little bit, and then we at the equivalence point it was 9.07. So at um, what was it, 20 mils? 20 mils, the H is right here, it's at 9.07, and then just one mil after that, so at 21 mils, and even just a little bit, it's all the way up here at 12.08. So it has the same shape. As the other titration curve, um, but the pH at the equivalence point is higher. You get the general idea. It's always going to look like 
starts out low and it goes up high. Um, it might have a, uh, you might see a more, a more gradual change rather than just a sharp um, change in pH there. 